Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I'm gonna to bring you guys a review of the Tua motion sensor. Now, if you're into smart home tech, especially budget smart home tech, the chances are you've used a Tua product before. You may, however, not have realized it. So Tua is basically a bigger network that allows lots of different companies to make products that connect into that network. This is great for companies manufacturing more budget devices because it means they haven't got to build the infrastructure for smart home devices themselves. This is also great for you and me as a consumer because it means we can tap into existing things and combine lots of existing products together. Now Tua products tend to work with one of three apps, but two of those are the main players. So they tend to work with the Tua app and the Smart Life app. If you buy a product that says it works with the Smart Life app, it will work with the Tua app and vice versa. In addition to that, there's also Hey I'm Home, who I reviewed a while back, whose products also tap into that same network, but they have their own branded app. Again, however, if you've got Hey I'm Home products, they will work in the Tua and Smart Life apps. The same goes for if you've got Tua and Smart Life products, they will also work in the Hey I'm Home app. Personally, I prefer the Tua app just because I think the interface is slightly better. But anyway, enough about technologies, let's talk about this motion sensor. And I wanna start off by talking about the design. So compared to other smart motion sensors out there like the Philips Hue one, this has a slightly chunkier design. It's got a much bigger sensor in the middle and a much wider design about it. It comes with a back plate that you can screw onto a wall or a ceiling, but also comes with a sticky pad for you to stick it on. The design itself has rounded edges and then that motion sensor in the middle. The majority of the device is white, but the back being gray. In terms of price, this is at the budget range of motion sensors and costs just under 20 pounds. It takes two AAA batteries. Now in terms of battery life, in theory, if it's used 25 times a day, you'll get a year's use out of it. In reality, I think this is slightly generous and I've found that it's got slightly less use than that. The more you trigger motion, the less the battery life will last. And then the other thing to talk about in terms of spec is that it has a 120 degree motion angle. In using this, I found that this is perfect for picking up the space for using it in a small bathroom, for example. And personally, I went for mountain on the ceiling just to give it maximum coverage of the room. When it comes to setup, it is relatively easy. You simply put the batteries in and then open the app of your choice on your phone. From there, you hit the plus and then you can find the device. Once you've paired it with the app, it connects to your home Wi-Fi for connectivity. And once it's in the app, you can then choose what happens when motion is detected or when motion isn't detected. So once it's set up and paired in the app, you then need to configure a scene to go with it. And the scenes basically sit in two parts. There's a if this happens, and then there's a do this. And the if part is what you call a trigger. So if, for example, your motion sensor detects motion, that is a trigger. You can combine multiple triggers together. So for example, you could say if it's sunny outside and the motion sensor detects motion. Or you could say if it's daytime or before sunrise or something like that. The then part is what happens when that trigger is fired. So for example, if the motion sensor picks up motion, what do you want it to do? One of the default behaviors which you can switch off is to receive a notification. This is great if you just want to use it for home security. You can, however, use it to control any tour device you have in your home. A great example is if you've got your sensor in a bathroom, it might turn on the bathroom light when it detects motion. That's assuming you've got a smart bathroom light. And then this really is where having those effective periods can help. So for example, if you only want it to operate during the daytime, you can have two scenes for your motion sensor. One of those scenes might make the light bright if it detects motion during the day, and you might have a different scene that makes the light slightly dimmer if it detects motion at night. You can also set up scenes to happen when it stops detecting motion. For example, if it stops detecting motion, you might want to turn off the light. However, perhaps a slightly better scene to set up might be to say, if the light has been on for 10 minutes, turn it off. That means the light will stay on even if you stay still for a little while and it stops detecting motion. So how well does it work once you've got these set up? Having used this for a month, I'd say that it works pretty well every single time. There is a minimal delay once it detects motion before that action happens, and that's about the same with other smart home devices. The only thing I would say is that it would be nice to have an option for it to automatically turn off after a certain amount of time based in that scene for the motion detection itself, rather than you having to set up something different. The other thing I found which comparing it to the Philips Hue motion sensors that I also have is that it doesn't have extra sensors inside it. And so whilst the Philips Hue motion sensors cost £40, double that of this product, they do offer temperature and light sensors within them as well. And this, in my opinion, is much better for creating a smart home scene based on motion because it allows you to say, actually, if there's motion and the light level is below a certain amount, turn on the light. 
because of course there's days when it's a bit darker outside or the sun sets earlier and what you actually want is for the light to come on if their light level in there is low not regardless of the light level so should you buy one of the tour motion sensors if you're on a budget and you want a motion sensor for your home security or to trigger a light on or off and you're not too fussed about extra sensors within it then actually this is a really good price sensor that works well every single time it's not the smallest sensor in the world, but once it's kind of stuck up where you want it, you don't really notice it anyway, and it does the job well every single time. If you guys have got any questions, do stick them below and I'll answer those. If you want to pick one up, I have put a link below. I've also included a link to some on eBay where they are slightly cheaper and you can pick them up for around 15 pounds, sometimes slightly less. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon.